Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be our very first time playing Planet Zoo. So let's get started. This is going to be a franchise mode zoo in North American Plains. So pretty basic, pretty easy. All I've done so far is do the facilities because these are really boring and tedious to place. And I'm already losing a lot of money. So we better get right into enclosure building. Um, the only other thing I did is I found a pretty... No, I don't want to go... This is bugging out for me. It's saying like the market is my storage and I have all these animals. I got a really good deal on a okay lemur. So I bought that. But today we are beginning to building... An aardvark enclosure. So, by the way, guys, this is my first video on my new gaming PC, so I'm not really used to the new mount sensitivity and everything. It does have DPI, but four different DPIs, but um, all of them are higher than I'm used to. So, need a grade two fence on. I think it was like two feet or something. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's like one and a half meters, it'll be fine. Grade two. I could do this junk, but I don't like it. So I think we're going to go with a wooden enclosure. I kind of want to get like a sandstone type thing. I don't know if that's in um, Planet Zoo or not, but let's just start with wood logs. Okay, I think I want to start the build... Over here, maybe aardvarks won't be our big central thing you see when you first go into the zoo. But they will be our starting creature. 330 meters. That's not too bad. Actually, why don't we just do all wood? But I'm going to have a big front panel. I think this enclosure is going to be pretty square. So let's just go as long as... Oh. Two and a half meters, that sounds perfect. Okay, that's as long as we can go. Hmm. I changed my mind. We're gonna go with glass. Just big broad glass panel. Then maybe we do a couple small panels on the side. All right, now we go to our wood. No window. Maybe, maybe we do a bit of an angle. Then straight again. I do like that. Didn't realize it was doing seven meter the entire time, but it is not a bad size. Switch back to my wood. Did I do that wrong? One, two, straight. Nope, we're all good. Then maybe I will make this back piece of window if we want to put viewing on that side as well. Okay. I'm liking that. We only spent... We didn't spend a whole lot of money on that. Okay. Why don't we just chuck these aardvarks straight in and work from there? It is kind of annoying that you need to put a door and a path on every single exhibit. I think this side path just looks kind of ugly. So I guess that could be our side path. Man, that looks weird. Why don't we do log rounds? Hmm. I'm changing my mind. Is there just a... Yeah, dirt path. Nope, 
that one. Let's actually make that a bit wider. Looks like you can't turn that sharp. Oh. I personally don't really like the path system on this game. I think the way they did it in Jurassic World Evolution was a lot better. Because for those of you who don't know, this is made by the same people. Okay. I'm also still learning in this game, so bear with me if I'm doing really dumb things. Also, earlier I was playing, I, I went to the zoo and I went to animal training and they were bugging out really bad. They were like, um, they were rapidly switching between the animal trading tab and the, um, whole finance thing. Okay, that's being moved to there. Um, we are losing money, so I don't really want to speed the game up, but I need my aardvarks to get money. I probably need to hire a staff. Do I have any staff yet? No. I'm going to need a keeper. I'm also going to need a caretaker. And I think that should be all I need for right this moment. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Hurry up. Just eat them in. <laughs> okay. First animal. Pretty soon we should get our first guest. Right now we have zero. How are you liking the terrain? Ooh, you do not like the terrain. Oh, and I also did this four times larger than I needed to. I'll probably put a lot of rocks and water in. Maybe not a huge body of water. Okay, I need more short grass. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that enough short grass for you? Almost. Perfect soil. There's that guy coming in with the second aardvark. I believe you can only have two. I think after that, they get angry. Uh, or maybe you can have multiple females? I don't recall. I think I'm going to make this whole front area dirt, and I might put a bit of water right here. But then I'm going to have to take care of a water treatment facility. This is actually the first time I'm using the terrain tools in this game. Which is why it's so horrendous. Water, smooth water. There you go. That's the terrain all sorted out. Okay, there's two aardvarks still. I thought I lost one of them for a second. Habitats. Bed and shelters. What's the smallest? This is the smallest one of those. Is that a little? That is a little overkill, but I'm still going to go with it. Alright, just align that with the back there. That looks pretty good. How... Okay, it's pretty close to the edges. Now we need bedding. I'm actually going to want to... That's the rotate button. going to want to raise that up a little bit. I don't know, the grass is just going through it a lot. 
Rotate it. I think that's plenty of bedding. There's your shelter sorted out. Man, 10 minutes in already. Enrichment. Is that enough? That should be plenty. I don't see how that's not. Oh, we're going to need a vet as well to research. Hire a vet. There, you live here now. And get Dr. Thompson right on the research. Did that work? Hello? There we go. In the meantime, while that is researching, we should probably put some rocks in. Where do they live? Grassland and Tropical of Africa. So, let's go with... Oh, Grassland, Tropical, Africa. Now that that's all sorted, um, tree. Raise that up a bit. Maybe just put a few of those. Could also put some reeds. Um, go to two. Um, one meter. I suppose I could do a couple of those. Like in the back here. All right, looking better, looking a whole lot better. Hawkthorn acacia tree, that looks nice. Maybe we can put one by the water so that the roots are sticking out a little. That's a nice little touch. Rotate it so they don't all look the same. Rotate that one a whole bunch. Okay. I think if you do any type of continent, the rocks won't show up. So let's just grab a savannah rock. Let's kind of put one right there. Oh. Do one like that. Then we could have a bit of a, a rocky path up to it. Kind of just slowly slope things up. Can I? No, that's not what I want. I want a flattish rock. Yeah. Then we could go back a bit. That looks climbable. You'd be surprised by how high some of these these animals in this game can climb. Let's actually... Um, how do you... X. I just want to kind of bring that back. And if we can rotate it... Oh, that's perfect. Oh, and there's a bit of an area for them to climb under as well. Let's go with some bushes as well. Maybe just add a couple little bits and bobs around the enclosure. Like that. Hit my mic. I really hope that doesn't come out in the video sounding really weird let's go ahead is that where I want that? yeah then maybe we go with another 
bolder looking one. Stick that one pretty low as well. Okay. Um, how about our research? How's our research? Ugh. Research going. Almost. I think that's like, what, two thirds of the way? Hmm. Food and water. Man, I really need to feed these guys. Um, I think I need a cleany water thingy. If you know, if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, water treatment. Okay. I think that is a staff only path. Obstructed. I can't see what I'm doing. That is a staff only path. But I think that might self noise complaints. I'm not sure. Is there a. Because I know they like complain if it's too noisy, but I don't know where that filter is. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Oh, negative impact. Oh, wow, that's pretty small. I remembered that being bigger. So we won't have to worry about anybody complaining about... I think... Oh, I think water treatment? Like, they were complaining because it was smelly, and then for power, they complain... If, um... Oh. Looks like there's built-in power to the front. I did not know that. Anywho. These guys need food. I'm stupid. Aardvark, it should be at the top. Yep. You take a food... Mm, let's make a big food bowl. Is that... Okay, I want to make sure that's not going through the ground. Let's just... Call a keeper to make sure they're being fed. How are you guys besides enrichment? Temperature's fine too, okay. Hmm. Wondering. Nah, that wouldn't work. Um. How much now? <laughs> okay. We're actually making a profit. I think we should continue the research on the aardvark. But at least now, we can do some toys. Oh, we need... Uh, what are they called? Tip jars. Facilities. Bins, benches, and security. Oh, okay. I need to... I honestly didn't even know security was like a thing. Besides the security guard. Where's my dumb... Okay, let's just go to everything. Oh. Donation box. Where do you find that? Oh, that's facilities. We can put donation box over here and over there. I'm not really good... I, I think I kind of know what I'm doing when I'm building stuff. But when it comes to making money and um, pleasing guests, I'm lost. So let's go to a wrench rent. Food. Large barrel feeder. I think these guys like that like back scratching post thingy. But, oh, it looks like I need to research more for that. Keeper out of space. Do I have a keeper out? This should all be one group. I do have a keeper hut. Do I need another one? How many keepers do I have? I have a keeper. I don't know why they're complaining. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. If you guys are going to watch the whole series, there's going to be these kinds of messages popping up all the time. What's this? Do I get, like, money for achievements? Do I get... Do I get the 500 bucks, or? Um. I, I'm not sure if this is actually. We did just hit 100 guests. That's important. What's this? Inspector. Um, where is this? Oh. 
I think everything's fine. They're a little unhappy because they don't have that toy enrichment. How much profit are we making? A thousand? Okay. Mm, okay. I'm used to that thing always being red, so that's an improvement. Let's double check. How many can you have in here? I think it's only two. Yeah, up to one male, up to one female. Then they get mad. So if we have a baby, we're either going to have to sell it or make an entirely new enclosure. Actually, this is a whole lot of space. Maybe I could split this enclosure somehow. Down the middle, diagonally. I don't know. Because this is a pretty massive enclosure for aardvarks. Oh, they're both chilling in here. Can I put a food barrel inside that? You can. I didn't know that. These guys are being spoiled. I'm making up for not having any toys. I'm just going to make them fat and happy instead. The research is taking forever. First enclosure. I think that's a pretty big success. Oh, let's check. Um... Whoa, okay. Largest donation, 20 bucks. Ooh. No, no, I don't care about this lady. You're uneducated? I don't care. You can, you can be, you can be stupid and still give me money, so. But I do, I do need to put in, like, a gulpy, which, if you guys don't know, that's like, um, like a frozen drink thing in, land zoo so anyway guys enough rambling on this was our first enclosure i think it turned out pretty nice so if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and subscribe